super nervous right now to speak, but I just want to say mahalo to everyone that spoke tonight because all of you has really, have really inspired me to speak. And I just feel like if I didn't speak tonight that I would have this huge regret of not doing it. So I encourage you more of you guys to speak. Yeah. So I was talking to my mom about a couple minutes ago and I was all like, man, all these people are inspired me so much to speak, but I don't think I have the courage or the confidence or as much ike to speak tonight. But then I was like, no, I have to do it because she told me that I need to do it for my generation and for my kiki and all the generations to come. Sorry, I'm not kiki, but they will come. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just want to say that being a kanaka Hawaii, it is our responsibility to protect our kupuna and what we've learned in the past because all of our knowledge is from the past. And that's the way that we think, that in order for us to move on to the future is that we need to think to the past. And I go to Uchimanoa, and before coming tonight, I was such a proud student to be going to Uchimanoa that I thought that I learned so much that I would be such a great person. I would be very successful after graduating. But as everyone has said before, that it's a, it's a Hawaiian place of learning that deciding to go the business route, I don't have that mindset. I really think that growing up, Kulikai uh, Puni, and going to Kalema, that I would that right now, going to reach Manoa, it's my Olau Hawaii and Kono Manao Hawaii are all my name because of Uchi Manoa. And funny thing, I took an astronomy class this past semester because I thought it would be an easy class for the girls to take a natural science. And um, my uncle is Eddie Aiko, and so since he went to I was like, okay, astronomy is all about the stars, so maybe I can learn about how they navigate. But that's not really what I learned. So during that class, we talked about how we use a telescope. Yes, moon astronomy. And what I figured out is I showed the stars and the moon. So TNT, I'm not for it because you're looking at the stars and the moon. And yes, you can look at meteorites that maybe will hit us sometime soon. But that's why we have spaceships. That's why we have NASA to do that. So like, why here on this small <coughs> island here? Like, why here? There's literally the rest of the world, millions of other people. So why us? And we keep on fighting and fighting and fighting. And of course, it's never going to stop. But as everyone keeps on saying before, we are tired. And I'm sure you folks are tired. Or maybe you folks think that it's something funny to keep on fighting against us because you just already think that you can step all over us and do whatever you want. But as you can see, as I was reading before, that we have protested and we've been winning and we'll keep on winning until the very end. So might as well just stop because we're going to win anyway. Wow. Wow.